Hi guys, it's Sophie from Just Fabrics and today we're going to show you how to make a bean bag that can be used indoors or outdoors. For this make we'll be using two different fabrics. We'll be using the Movement Outdoor Sugar and the Salcom Outdoor Coral. You will also need uh, three meters of lining fabric, a tape measure, 22 inch zipper, scissors, tailor's chalk, pins, a zipper foot, a sewing machine, iron and polystyrene beads. The first thing you need to do is to cut out your lining pieces. So we're going to cut two pieces out which are 45 inches by 30 inches. The next step you need to do is to sew the lining pieces together. So you're going to pin down both of the long edges and one of the short edges and leave the other short edge open. Now that you've pinned all the sides together, we're going to stitch along with a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. So now that you've sewn the long sides and the bottom side, you need to take the short edge that is not sewn up yet and match up the two long seams either side. Once you've matched these up, you want to pin along this edge, leaving about a 7 to 8 inch gap in the middle so that you'll be able to fill the bean bag once you've stitched it. So now that you've stitched the top, you want to turn the liner right sides out and then we're going to fill it. Pin and sew the gap shut. Cut one piece of your two different fabrics that are 45 inches by 30 inches. Put the fabrics right sides together and pin along the long edges and then stitch. So once you've sewn the sides, what you need to do is uh, put the zipper in. So what we're going to do is keep the beanbag inside out and you want to lay the zipper face down, uh, open, on one side. Pin and sew together. Now that you've stitched one side of the zipper, you want to keep it face down and you want to line it up with the other side of the fabric and pin along that edge. And then sew along the pinned edge. Now that you've sewn the zipper in, what we need to do is finish off the other seams. So we're going to just pin along the edges and stitch them up. Make sure that the zip is a little bit open for this so that when you've stitched up the seams, you'll be able to turn the bag the right side out. Now that we've stitched the zip, you want to turn the fabric to the right side out and we're going to iron and top stitch the zip so that it keeps the fabric in place to cover it up. So you want to fold the fabric just slightly over to cover the zip. Be careful not to use too high of a heat if you're using a nylon zip because it will melt it. Pin to hold the fabric in place and then stitch along the edge of the zipper. So once you've top stitched the zip, we're going to finally finish the final seam. So you need to turn the bean bag inside out again and line up the long seams along the short edge. Pin along the edge and sew. Once you've stitched the bottom seam, it's now time to turn the bean bag the right side out and then you'll put the liner inside. And now you've got your finished bean bag.
Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this make. As you know, there's lots more on the website and social media and all the fabrics can be found either online or in the showrooms.